If you want to consistently grow your online business, it's absolutely essential to have a proven model that produces profitable, perfect leads at scale. Because guess what? There is no problem that can't be solved with more leads. You know, more leads gives you an opportunity to refine your funnels, optimize your existing offers, test new offers, and even improve the quality of the leads that you're generating. And guess what? If you're putting optimized offers in front of the right people who are pumped, primed, and excited for what you offer at the right cost, your revenue and profitability will go through the roof. And guess what you can solve with higher profits? Well, just about every business problem you can imagine. In this video, you will discover a step-by-step -step process for mapping out a logical and clear roadmap to bring the most suitable people all the way from indifferent strangers to passionate, profitable, perfect fit clients. You'll then learn an approach for identifying assets that you already have in your business, which you can use as incentives to attract your perfect fit clients and take that first step to opt in to your email list. From there, I'll show you a crazy simple strategy which will guarantee you never have to worry about what content to create ever again and will turn every piece of content into a lead generation machine. Hey, it's Michal here from Lead to Launch where we help you attract profitable, perfect fit leads at scale to fuel your course and membership launches. So if you're a course creator or membership site owner who wants to build predictable and profitable lead generation processes which take your launches to the next level, well then, this video is for you. And if you hang around to the very end, I have a special bonus session where I will show you how you can leverage the content you create to build really powerful audiences on Facebook, which will slash your cost per lead and are completely iOS 14.5 proof. But before we get to that, if you find any of this video useful, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Because the bigger the community gets, the more time and effort I can put into producing and sharing free content like this, which you can use to grow your business, get your message into the world and create the life you want. Okay, let's get to it. When it comes to lead generation, so many people, they're doomed before they even start. They have a course or membership that they know can get people massive results. But the biggest problems they have is getting their message in front of the right people in the right way at the right time. Now, I'm a huge fan of building audiences and followings on social networks. Hey, I'm here doing this video right now. However, when it comes to sales, the medium that gets you the best results and return on investment is email. So it's absolutely essential that you're continuously attracting email subscribers to your list. Now, the primary method of doing this is through a lead magnet. A lead magnet is anything of value which you can send somebody in exchange for their email address. You know, a lead magnet should solve one very, very specific problem for our prospect and they should get the benefit of it from, you know, kind of within about 15 minutes. Why most people are doomed before they start is they have no strategy for linking their content to their lead magnets through to their courses and their memberships. And that's where my Value Ascension Roadmap comes into play. The Value Ascension Roadmap charts your perfect fit client's journey all the way from their very first interaction with your free front-end content all the way to the ultimate transformation that you can help them achieve. Now, this is normally done through your highest value offering. So each subsequent level on the roadmap is the logical next step from the one below it. And each level represents an increase in value from, first of all, from your perfect fit client's perspective, and um, that is value in terms of the level of transformation and results that they get. And secondly, and as importantly, an increase in value to you, the business owner, in terms of how much your perfect fit clients pays you. So let's take a look at the Value Ascension Roadmap. On level one is your free front-end content. Now, this is your blog, video, your email, your social media content that you publish in order to attract and engage those that you can serve the best. And this is important because the success of your online business will be directly proportionate to the results that you can help your clients achieve. As a result, ensuring that you are attracting potential perfect fit client leads is absolutely essential. And this process all starts with your messaging and the content you share. It is absolutely essential that each level of your Value Ascension Roadmap delivers real value and gets results for those who interact with that level. 
And even though this is, you know, ungated free content, you still want it to move people further along their journey. But one of the best ways to think about your free front end content is what question, if answered, would help my perfect fit client move forward and take action? Or in other words, what is holding your perfect fit client back? You see, momentum is one of the most important things that we can help people achieve. Our goal on each level of the Value Ascension Roadmap is to help people take action, move forward, and to prepare them for the, you know, the next step in the Value Ascension Roadmap. Um, and in this case, the next level are the lead magnets. Now, if we're following the process, uh, on the first level, we've provided some level of solution to the very first thing that is preventing a perfect fit client from moving forward. But guess what? Once you've answered that question, well, they're gonna have a brand new problem. And this is the problem that your lead magnet should solve. As I mentioned earlier, your lead magnet should solve one very, very specific problem, and somebody should be able to consume your lead magnet and gain benefit from it within 15 minutes of downloading it. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make with their lead magnets. It's a trap we all fall into. We want our lead magnet to be really valuable so that people want to sign up for it. But when it comes to value, people appreciate quality over quantity. And in this case, quality actually means the shortest and easy route to the defined outcome that people want. Now, realistically, people are lazy. They don't want to, and they won't, wade through pages and pages of information. Give them the checklist, give them the cheat sheet, give them the three to seven steps that they need. Make it easy for them. Give them what they need to move to the next level. Now, in the lead to launch model, when I'm working with my members and clients, this level is what I call your mini front end products. A mini front end product is an offer which people receive immediately after opting in for your lead magnet, normally in the price range of nine to $49. The purpose of the mini product is to cover the cost of your paid advertising. Now, if you get this right, you can create an unlimited budget for your Facebook ads and other advertising channels, effectively enabling you to get free leads or in some cases even cash flow positive from your lead generation campaigns. Now, the key to success with your mini front end offer is that, you know, it has to be the logical next step for your perfect fit client to take once they've opted in for your lead magnet. Now, there's two ways to think about this. Number one, the mini product could help you know, people to get an even greater result than the lead magnet did. So to extend the result, if you will. Or two, the mini product helps people get the same result as the lead magnet, only faster and easier. So the purpose of this level, aside from liquidating the cost of your ads, is to prime people so that they're ready to step to the next level of the Value Ascension Roadmap, which in this example is your signature course or program. Now, as we're just dealing with lead generation in this video, I'm not gonna talk in detail about the upper levels of the Value Ascension Roadmap, but we take a similar approach to the offer at each level. The goal of each level is to get a result for those on that level, but also to prime them for the ascension to the next level. Um, and you know, as the cost of lead generation increases, it's essential to always have a next step for a perfect fit client to ascend to, which maximizes the customer lifetime value. Um, we're also increasing loyalty and retention as people know there's somewhere for them to go within your business model. And you know, that's one thing that I see so often. People who want to spend money, they want to you know, give you more business, but they don't have that next step to go to. Um, but in today's example, we may have the next step after our signature program as membership, which leads into a small group coaching model and then into a mastermind at the top of the Value Ascension Roadmap. Now, the fact is, if you don't have at least some of these levels in your business, you're leaving money on the table. Money that people would love to spend with you but have no avenue to pay you. And this isn't just my opinion. It's a mathematical fact. Using the maths behind the 80-20 rule, we can predict that for any group of clients, there will be 20% of them who would be willing to pay you five times more than they have. Um, and you can apply this maths when figuring out our pricing and also forecasting our revenue through the Value Ascension Roadmap. So the next question you may have is, well, that's great, Michal, but how do I pick a lead magnet? 
you know, and how do I pick a lead magnet that will attract leads, but also prime them to register for my signature program? Well, hang with me for a minute, and not alone will I show you how to pick your lead magnet, but I will show you how you probably have already created it. And it may just be a matter of repurposing it from content you already have. So let's zoom in on our signature product or membership. Now, the majority of courses or programs have between five to seven modules. Funnily enough, I found the sweet spot to be around six. If you have a membership, the chances are you have between five to seven core topics that you help people with within the membership. Um, now, each model in your course or membership will have a number of sections. Step one is to decide on the topic that you want to produce your first lead magnet. Step two is to identify the module within your course or membership that deals with that topic. Step three is to analyze the module and pick out the hot topic that really gets people excited and helps people to move forward. Step four is to pick out any checklist, step plan, cheat sheet, or guidance document associated with that section. And look, at if you don't have these created already, review your content and based on that, create something that's simple, that's straightforward, and it makes it easy for people to implement your teachings. Now, it won't just be used as a lead magnet, that will be massively valuable for your members too. So, you know, that's the perfect lead magnet because it's something that you know people will love. It, it gets them results and it's perfectly aligned with and into the ultimate destination that you want them to arrive at. Now, some people might be worried, well, is that devaluing my product or my membership? Well, the fact is, it, it's only in the region of 136th, you know, rough maths, if you have six modules and each module has six sections in it, um, it, it's only 1 36th of your overall content. But more importantly, it's only one piece of the puzzle. You know, for people to get the full transformation, they'll need all the other bits, they'll need all the other pieces. And in my mind, you know, it's far from devaluing your product or membership, it's actually demonstrating the strength and creating the desire and demand. Okay, so, now that we've picked your lead magnet, we have to start building out our traffic strategy. Now, despite running a Facebook ad agency, I'm a massive believer in generating organic leads. You know, yes, driving organic leads is a slower process and it's a definitely a long-term play, but with the right strategy and approach, not alone will you increase your visibility, drive engagement, prepare your audience, you know, to take action and drive sales, but you will also set your paid advertising up for massive success. Now, when it comes to content creation, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they go off on tangents, talking about things that you know may be interesting and they may have knowledge about, and they may help people, but if they aren't leading people strategically along your value ascension roadmap, then you're leading people away from your offers. Okay, so in the last section, we broke down how to select your lead magnet, and we uncovered that most courses and memberships have between five to seven core topics. Well, your content should center around these five to seven key areas. So again, let's set on this magic number of six. Well, with six core topic areas, you can either choose to cycle through the areas one after another or deep dive into one area for a multi-part series. And that could be blog posts, it could be videos, it could be social posts, it could be emails, whatever you know, content platform that you use. And you know, the key to creating high quality front-end content that leads conversions is to stick on a strategic level. So if you like your free content is delivering on the why. Now, this is still hugely valuable for people, but what you sell in your course program membership is the how and also you know, kind of the support and the guidance to implement the how. So there's very little question that video is now the majority preferred medium for people to consume content. Look, at it's, it's why all the social platforms now favor and push video more than written content. But there is another reason why I think video will best serve your lead generation strategies. And I'll share that with you in a minute. So let's look how you know, this all breaks down in our value ascension roadmap. Starting from our free front end content, we can now see that we have six core topics to which we talk about. If these are fixed, now we can start to develop content funnels which link our free front end content to associated lead magnets. And 
what this means is that every piece of content you create, you will now automatically have a lead magnet, which will be the logical next step for people who are consuming the, you know, your content. So over time, you know, you can build out a lead magnet library. Now it may, it might not be advantageous to have six lead magnets, but there certainly is room in every business for three to four high quality lead magnets. And once we've identified our lead magnets, now we can start creating and you know, releasing mini products, which will sit as upsells from the lead magnet. So when we have these content funnels in place, now we can invest in the development of pillar posts, which you know, almost serve as definitive guides to each topic, answering your perfect fit clients' questions and serving as a beacon you know, to attract people to you. And when you put it all together, you now have a perfectly aligned, logical, streamlined path for people to move from their first interaction with your free front-end content all the way to your signature program or membership. Having this alignment will ensure that you will maximize your returns on both your paid and your organic campaigns while massively serving the needs of your perfect fit clients and helping them achieve the transformation that they desire. And that's the perfect recipe for rapid online business growth and kickstarting your lead generation activities. Now, remember I promised you a bonus session on how you can leverage your organic content to you know, kind of supercharge your Facebook ads, reducing your cost per lead, and not just that, but it's completely iOS 14.5 proof. Well, stay tuned because if you're interested in lead generation, and even if you've never run a Facebook ad before, you're going to want to stay tuned for this. So what we've looked at to this point is creating your value ascension robot, which maps out your perfect fit client's path all the way from, you know, first interaction with you to the ultimate transformation that you can help them achieve. And how each level of the value ascension roadmap is a logical next step for somebody to take once they've reached their desired milestone on the previous level. We then looked at how to choose a lead magnet, but not just any lead magnet, a lead magnet that primes people to sign up for your signature program or membership, um, and why you've probably already created it and where you can find it. And finally, we looked at how to develop a content strategy which funnels people into your key topic areas and gets them to take their first steps on their value ascension roadmap. All exciting stuff. And now for the bonus session, I promise, since the release of iOS 14.5, launching and scaling Facebook ad campaigns has become ever more challenging. You know, Apple's release of iOS 14.5 allowed mobile users to block reporting of actions they took on third-party websites. Now, what third-party websites is, is basically your website. You are the third party. So this cut off the feedback and information supply from your pixel, which was one of the key ways that Facebook knew who to show your ads to and who not to show your ads to. This has had a significant knock-on effect for advertisers. And yes, there are workarounds and things that we can do, but the fact is the trend is only going in one way and the blocking of trackers will only increase in the future. Your ability to retarget Facebook users based on their actions on your website will never be as powerful as it once was. And these retargeting audiences were often the ones with the lowest costs and the highest ROI. But here's a strategy that completely eliminates the impact of iOS 14.5. If you're creating video content, and this is just one of the reasons I absolutely love video, you can take short clips from your video or record 30 to 60 second clips based on your video content and run video view ads on Facebook. Now, you can get video views for between one and three cent per view, so it's extremely cheap. But here's the genius part of the strategy. On Facebook, you can create audience based not just on who viewed your video, but also the length of time which they viewed it. So three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 50%, 75% and so on. Now, when it comes to running ads for your lead magnet, you can target these custom audiences. And in doing so, you're showing your ads to people who know who you are, who've interacted with you, who are interested in the problem you solve and are most likely to opt in for your lead magnet. And in doing so, you're almost guaranteed to get lower cost per leads than cold interest-based audiences. So now that you know how to choose and create your lead magnet, you probably want to take a deeper dive into Facebook ads. So make sure you check out the videos linked on the screen for lots more information on how to plan your next Facebook ad campaign 
and some key tips on what's working right now when it comes to Facebook ads. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and give me the thumbs up. Oh, and even more importantly, please do scroll down, leave me a comment. I promise I'll reply to each and every one personally. See you in the next video.